Hello, my name is Kastutis, and today I will show you how to fix error code SSL protocol error. Error SSL protocol error is a connection error that occurs when a web browser cannot verify a website's SSL certificate. As a result, an error message appears, warning users that the site they requested may not be secure. In Google Chrome, the error message will say this site can provide a secure connection. Meanwhile, other web browsers may display a different error message. For example, Microsoft Edge shows can connect securely to this page, while Mozilla Firefox displays warning, potential security risk ahead. The issue might be caused by something going wrong at the website server or on your device. To check if a website has a working SSL certificate, use an SSL checker tool. And if the SSL certificate is working normally, the issue is likely with your device. But don't worry, whatever the cause may be, I will show you various methods to fix error SSL protocol error. Here we go. The first method is to reset system time. Some SSL certificates depend on your device's time and date for validation. So, you might get an SSL connection error if your device's time is incorrect. On Windows, changing or resetting the system time and date is quite simple. First, go to the Settings menu, click Time and Language, and select Date and Time. You can synchronize the time by clicking the Sync Now button. On macOS, click the Apple menu icon, go to System Preferences, and select Date and Time. You'll see two tabs, Date and Time and Time Zone. If the lock at the bottom left is closed, click it to unlock the Preferences panel. The system will ask you to enter your password. If you want to set the time and date automatically, click the checkbox. If you prefer doing it manually, unselect the checkbox and set everything accordingly. Click Save once you're done. The same goes for the time zone setup. Switch to the time zone tab and choose either to set it up automatically or manually. The second method is to clear your browser's cookies and cache. It's easy, here's how. In Google Chrome, click on the three dotted menu and go to Settings, Privacy and Security and click Clear Browsing Data. Choose the All Time Time Range and check Cookies and Other Site Data and Cached Images and Files. Then click Clear Data. The DNS cache stores previous DNS lookups on your system to load websites faster. But a corrupted or outdated DNS cache may cause connection issues. The process to flush DNS cache is different for every operating system. So, I will show you how to do it on Windows and Mac OS. Let's go with Windows first. The process will be the same from Windows XP to Windows 11. First, open the Run window by using Windows plus R shortcut. Then, type CMD to open Windows command prompt. Then, the ipconfig forward slash flush DNS command. Hit Enter. You'll see a confirmation message in the command prompt console, saying that you've successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now, let's move to macOS. With this operating system, the exact command depends on your operating system version. But don't worry, as I will provide the command to flush the DNS cache on various versions. The first step is to check what macOS version you currently use. Simply click the Apple icon, then select About this Mac. Next, open the command terminal window by pressing the F4 key and typing in terminal in the spotlight search field. Then, insert the specific command for your macOS version and hit enter. The system might ask you for your password. Check the description below to find the command for your macOS version. The third method is to clear the SSL state. By the way, if you want to learn more about SSL, you can watch this video. So, when your web browser initiates an SSL connection, it goes through the SSL handshaking process with the website server. Then, the SSL cache is stored on your computer, so that the next time you visit the same website, there will be no need to repeat the same process. Similar to the DNS cache, the SSL cache may sometimes be corrupted or outdated, which may result in an SSL connection error. So, clearing the current SSL state 
can resolve the error. If you're a Windows user, follow these steps to do it. Open Control Panel, go to Network and Internet, and choose Internet Options. Once the Internet Properties window appears, navigate to the Content tab. Under the Certificate section, click Clear SSL State. Finally, click OK to apply the changes and close the window. If you are a macOS user, follow these steps to delete an SSL certificate from your system. Go to your Applications folder and find Utilities. Double-click Keychain Access. Select the System option. Here you can see all the SSL certificates that your device is storing locally. If you can find the one that belongs to the website you're trying to access, delete it. A prompt saying Keychain Access is trying to modify the system keychain will appear. Enter your username and password and click Modify Keychain. Once a confirmation message appears, click Delete to confirm the action. The fifth method is to temporarily disable your antivirus. An antivirus program might interfere with the SSL connection process, which stops you from accessing a website. So, consider disabling your antivirus program to see if it can fix the error. But don't forget to enable your antivirus again after trying this method. If this doesn't work, let's move on to the next method. The sixth method is to remove the host file. It is a plain text file that contains domain names and their corresponding IP addresses. Sometimes an outdated or corrupted host file might be the cause of this SSL connection error. On Windows, press the Win key and R at the same time to open the run window. Type in the location of the host file, which is your local system drive, see in my case, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, and press Enter. Right-click on the host file and select Delete. Then restart your web browser. The seventh method is to disable or enable your VPN. Sometimes you might get this SSL connection error when browsing with a VPN. So try turning off your VPN service and revisit the website to see if it solves the problem. However, if your internet service provider blocks the connection to the specific website, it might also result in an SSL connection error. So, enabling a VPN might fix the issue. The eighth and final method is to enable the Quick protocol on Google Chrome. Quick is Google Chrome's experimental transport layer network protocol. It supports a secure connection with low latency and bandwidth requirements. If none of the previous methods work, you can try enabling Quick. To do this, open Google Chrome and type chrome column forward slash forward slash flags into the address bar. Search for experimental Quick protocol. Click the drop down menu and select enable. Finally, click relaunch to restart the web browser. Solving the error code SSL protocol error may take some time as you might need to try multiple fixes. I hope this video tutorial has helped you solve it. But if the issue persists, try contacting the website's administrator for help. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. My team will be sure to help you out. If you find this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like. Subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more handy tutorials like this one. Best of luck in your online journey.